Hi guys, it's Ari back again with another video. I'm actually filming this video and I haven't even uploaded the last video that I filmed, but it's edited already and everything. I just gotta make the thumbnail for it and it'll be up tonight. Today's video, I told you guys that I might have a haul video of the stuff that I'm gonna use for my It Girl competition video and yes I do, I do have a haul for you and it is from BH Cosmetics. Yeah, so I got it in the mail a couple of hours ago and I've been dying to open it, so. I gotta go get some scissors and I'm gonna open it. So I have all this like, whatever, cardboard kind of paper covering. What I ordered was um, the, their 88 palette, some brushes, and a secret palette that they gave me when I typed in the code of free shadow. So they gave me a palette. Okay, so here it is. This is the 88 color matte palette and then it just shows you a picture of it on the back this is like the perfect starter for anybody if you're looking for colors for the summer if you're looking to just like start off with makeup this is a perfect palette i think just to um give you some colors to start out with so you know what colors look best on you so you know what not to buy for yourself in the future so it just comes in this little cardboard i'm not gonna keep that but here are the colors they are so gorgeous. They are absolutely just amazing. And I can't wait to use these colors on my eyes. So excited to use this palette. So the next thing that came, I guess the secret palette, would be the Wild and Free Baked Eyeshadow Palette. So here it is, all wrapped in bubble wrap. And um, oh, wow, this packaging is so cute. It says Wild and Free free come on man I can't go through this you'll excuse me while I open this three hours later okay finally got it open so it has this little plastic you know to cover your eyeshadow it comes with a little mirror I'm gonna cover up the mirror for you guys these baked eyeshadows are freaking awesome look at how pretty these colors are. Excuse the dish dishwasher in the background, but look how pretty these colors are. This just made my life. <laughs> Next is what I've been waiting for over any of that are my brushes. So I got the 18, I think it's the uh, 18 piece Studio Pro brush set. So these brushes remind me of like the Sigma and MAC brushes. They like, they look the same. Well, they look the same online. I don't know if they feel soft or anything, so we'll just have to find out. These are way cheaper than the um, than the Sigma and MAC brushes, so I'm really excited to try them out. They also give you a brush belt that comes with it. This is what smells like paints, the brush belt. It's like a, it's a faux leather, that's why. So yeah, it comes with these brushes. And here's like the brush belt. It has like the little belt right here. If you're like doing makeup on other people, which, I mean, I just like doing makeup on myself. I don't know if I'm going to be trying to do makeup on other people yet or not, but it just has the BH Cosmetics BH Studio Pro logo right here and it has all the brushes. So I'm just going to go through really quickly what all, they, what all the brushes are. So the first one is, um, it doesn't say what the brush is, but I assume this one is the blush slash contouring brush and this brush is the most soft brush I've ever like freaking felt. The next brush I'm gonna pull out is the All Over Powder brush. This one isn't bigger than my Eco Tools brush, so I probably I think this is the All Over Powder brush. It could be a blush brush. I don't know, but this one isn't as big as my Eco Tools brush, but that could be a good thing because I find it kind of hard to get my Eco Tools brush up here without messing up my eyebrows. Next is the Duo Fiber Stippling brush. I remember when these first came out, like. Years back, and everybody wanted to try these dual fiber stippling brushes over the little ones that you know paint on your face. That come, in, one of them comes in here. But these are supposed to apply foundation, like an airbrush finish, or like any your highlighter or even blush, cream blush. 
So they say these are really good for applying cream blush. So if I get a cream blush, I may try this for that, but I'm probably not gonna try this for my foundation. Next one is this foundation brush. I can't wait to use this too, cause I wanna get like that ultimate V under my eye. The next one is this angled contour brush or blush brush or whatever. So it looks a little shaggled just a little bit, but that's probably from the road. But yeah, I can just pull these out. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm not picky about it, but yeah, this looks really good for contouring. Really good for that. And if I want to highlight. So the next brush is this. Um, I think this is a highlighter brush. I'm not really sure. Or like a, yeah, this looks like highlighter brush. It's too big to be a eyeshadow brush. Even though I have a um, equal to this brush just like this that I use for all over shadow. So this looks like it'll come really handy for that. And I can just use my equal to one for like if I travel or something. But this is really cool, and it's really, really soft. So the next one is a, oh, this one looks like a blending brush or, you know, a crease blush brush. I really, really like this one, too. Reminds me of my Equal Tilt one as well. Great, soft, whatever, your typical blending brush. This next one is a angled crease brush, like this one, or angled shadow, whatever. I'm pretty much going to use this for my crease. The next one is just this i think this one this is a brow brush but well that's what i'm gonna use it for it's gonna be a brow brush but it's like this your flat like yeah brush and you, some people use it for under eye smudging or for their waterline i'm gonna use this to like edge up my brows next one is a smudger brush this looks like a smudger brush i'm definitely gonna use this for smudging okay so these ones remind remind people of the mac brushes um i probably i'll probably compare them to mac in the future when i get some mac brushes but this one is like a blending brush or crease brush it just looks like that, and it's kind of flat and whatnot. I could see how this is would be a really good blending brush, though. This one is like a shadow brush, all over shadow brush. And this is like your typical eyeshadow brush that everybody needs in their makeup collection. So the next one is just your crease blending brush. It's like kind of like more narrower, kind of like a pencil, you know? The next thing I got is a concealer brush. I don't really get pimples on my face other than this one. Actually, that was a mosquito bite. That wasn't even a pimple, so... Yeah, this one would be really good for if I do, and I can just, like, dot. So I got four more, so these four, I'm going to go through them really quickly. So this one is a liner brush, you know, if you have gel liner. This one is, I think it's a con either a concealer brush or a smudger brush. This is for your, this is a spoolie for your eyebrows. I cannot wait to use this because... Y'all, I cannot wait to use this so bad because I've never had this before, so. And then I think this one is a brow brush, so, yeah. Yeah, so that's everything I got. I can't wait for you guys to see the look that I use for my next video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Always felt like my vision being bigger than a bigger picture.